Welcome back to chapter 16. In this lesson, we're going to talk about rollers, guides, and grids. Now, normally I would have had you open this and we make the Mother's Day card, but instead, I decided to make a nice little thank you card saying I was just thinking about you. So we're going to go ahead and open it. It's already open for me and the editor. Okay, and basically to get this image, all I did was I went to the sunflower that we've seen before. I think it was a chapter two. Okay, and then I just clicked on it and I dragged it up to the tab. And before I let go, I pressed the shift key so it puts it in the same register. Okay, and then I copied it twice. Let me delete the layer because I already have it. I deleted the layer, so I had two of the same. And then the first layer, what I did is I went to the filter gallery and I, and I chose um, cutout, which you've seen before. And the second one, I chose no paper. But on the second one with no paper, I changed the foreground back, background color, which you see here. And then on layer two, I did one more thing. I changed it to darker color so I could blend these two together so I can have the no paper effect with the red and green um, merging with um, just the sunflower here that we saw from cutout. I thought that would make it a little bit nicer. And then I added some text that says I was thinking. And then on a separate layer, I added text again about you. Now well, let's talk about the rulers and guides. Okay, to get the rulers, as you see here, you just go to view menu and you choose rulers, control shift R. Notice that the rulers automatically set the zero registration right here on the top left. If you don't like it, change it. You can change it to whatever you want and then the zero zero start here. If you don't like it, just double click here, it will reset. And did you notice that it's in inches? Now maybe you don't want it in inches, maybe you want it only in pixels. How can you change it? You can right click and choose pixels. Right click, choose inches. But maybe you don't want to do this every time. Well, a way around that is to go to edit, preferences, general, control J, go to units and rulers, and you're going to see here, if you change rulers to pixels, it will open up in pixels every single time. And you can change your type and your print sizes. Also, every time you open up a new document, you can have your print resolution set, which I do for 300, and my screen resolution set for 72. Okay, so we cancel out of this. Now, when you have the rulers open, you can pull guides out of them. And the guides can be either horizontal or vertical. And when you just go up here and you just drag out, you'll drag this little line here. We'll put a say about right about here. And then you'll see this nice little blue that comes out. I previously put this out there, but if I if you don't want the guide, you can just drag it back to the rulers and it disappears. So let's drag it back out to maybe about let's say about here. And then I'm gonna drag one more guide back out to maybe right about here. And then I'm gonna go click on I was thinking and I'm gonna drag it right, watch it snap into place. See, you see, it snaps right into place. That's the good thing about gap, um, guides. You can place things perfectly in the picture or in the photo or in the document, however you want, because it will snap right to it. And this works because it says view, snap to guides. I have it snap to guides, okay? So let me click on about you and then drag it right into place. See, it snaps right in there, okay? Now, if these guides are a little distracting, you can always use a shortcut for guides control with a semicolon. So if I press control semicolon, I can see them, not see them, see them, not see them. But you can see how it, it lines up nicely. Okay, maybe I probably would change that. Maybe I would change it. Well, let me get rid of the guide first. And let me lower this a little bit down. Maybe put it right about here. Lower this one a little bit more. And now bring this back out. Maybe a little bit further, maybe about here. Okay, and there we go. I think that's a little bit better. Now something else you can also use, which is nice to place things perfectly, is view, grid, control apostrophe. And here's the grid. So you can, if you don't want to use the guides, you want to use the grid, you can change your grid um, to, to a different size. And if you don't want these small sizes here, you can also do that in that control pr preferences. Okay, so let me hide it by pressing control apostrophe. Now let's say that you have a lot of guides and you know you're perfectly placing everything that you need to be placed. You can go up to view, clear guides, and that will clear all of them. Okay, you can also lock your guides to prevent them from moving. Okay. Now let's say that I wanted a border around it. If I wanted to make sure my border was perfect, so I could drag a guide out to let's say a fourth. Okay. Then drag another guide out. As you can see on the left hand side, you can see that I can get it perfectly. There we go. And then I can drag a marquee on the inside. 
watch how I'll snap to it so that way I know I have it perfectly and then I can go to select inverse okay which will only select this area around and I can fill it with this color which I selected from this picture so I took the eyedropper and let's say I selected this color and then I can press alt backspace to fill it oops excuse me I need a new layer I'm sorry my bad and there you go you have your border and then control D to delete and then we can remember we can hide our guides by going control semicolon and there you have it so you have a nice I was just thinking about you card but I probably would reduce the borders so let's pause for a second okay so what I did is I paused the film so I can redo the guides and make the borders a little bit smaller now don't get me wrong in Photoshop Elements does have a way to make borders a lot quicker but I just wanted to show you using guides and a grid and how that works